to the X Lounge. I am Brian, your host. In this video, we are going to put the bezels, I think that's what it's called, the glass portion, over top of the, the gauge faces here. As I look at this one, it looks like it could use a little bit of So what we're going to do for that, and how we're going to do that is, we're going to use this stuff. Uh, this brand is probably gone the way of the dodo bird, but all it is is a two-part uh, resin, uh, clear clear resin. As you can see, this part is gone fairly uh, fairly bad, but it'll still look the part for what we want because we're only going to be using very little bit of it. What we're going to do is mix some of it up and we're going to dot it on the, the white portions, the gauge faces, and it's going to create a dome. And then when that dries, it's going to look like uh, gauge faces. In order to get that to dry properly, I'm going to introduce a new tool. Uh, this is inspired by an article I read in a gun magazine a long time ago. Uh, written written by a guy that engraves firearms and he had a vise that was mounted to a bowling ball and the bowling ball sat in a hole in his table and he would clamp a part in the vise and then he would engrave on it and whenever the angle looked a little weird for him he'd change it so that so that it suited his needs and this one is on a small scale this is a, uh, a duck pin bowling ball. It's four inches in diameter. I don't know how much it weighs, maybe, maybe five pounds. I drilled into it and mounted this jeweler's vise. Actually, I'm sorry. I drilled into it, mounted this post, threaded it in there, and then uh, this just screws on top of it. I, it could it could get another vice at some point in the future, a different one. But for now, this is this is what I've got and this is what I've been using. This is uh, some kind of uh, uh, toilet snout. This is the this is the thing that the toilet bolts to. On the underside is uh, it's that tile for your bathroom. This is bathroom related. Uh, this is a tile for your bathroom, and it's got that. It's got a squishy, uh, soft bottom to it. Makes it waterproof so that your uh, your bathroom, whenever it leaks, uh, doesn't go through the floor. And originally, these two pieces are supposed to be inverted to fit together in the real thing. But uh, I couldn't help but notice this wonderful piece of rubber, and I thought, I bet that I bet that duck pin ball will fit in there perfectly, and it pretty much does. Uh, being that that's rubber, it's got a good hold. I mean, I can, I can, I can really work on a piece without that moving. And I don't need to. Oops! I don't need to clamp down on anything. I just need to spin it around to wherever I need it. And now, as I say that, I'm going to have to glue this rubber piece down because that's scooting around on me. The reason I need it in this case is that I got this all discombobulated is that I am going to mount this in there Most of my gauges are on this angle here, and if I put droplets in there and expect it to dry like that, it's all going to ooze out. So I'm going to lower this to an angle that it uh, that it's flat. So from the side view, that's what it'll look like. That way, gravity won't pull it out, and it'll be easier for me to get the droplets in there too. And then later on. 
uh, once that's dry I'll do these gauges down here and I'll angle it forward like that but for today's show we're gonna put it like that and I think that looks I think that looks fairly level I actually have a tiny level this isn't the one I thought it was I've got a better one than this around somewhere Okay. I've got a machinist level around here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. So there is that portion that we'll get started on soon. And here is the, the dashboard. We've got three gauge uh, four gauges there to put the uh put the stuff in but I can put that on any level surface because this sits pretty much it sits pretty much flat so that won't be any big deal using a tiny cup I'll mix up the the epoxy, this is a 50-50 part A, part B mix. up on the end of the toothpick there. Probably not that much. And we'll try to get it only in the I guess it takes a gauge of a certain size to make these pop because these look a whole lot better than the ones that... ...than the smaller ones on the, on the console. So that's what those look like and it'll dry. With that, uh, it'll dry pretty much like what you see there. News. I've gone ahead and painted the the window the window cranks uh, and these buttons there. I'm going to paint the the bottom of this and get this assembled once these are dry. And uh, probably going to get started on the front grill next. So if you like what you see, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and you will be alerted when the next update is available. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Party.